guys and welcome back to another studio vlog so while you're watching this i will be away in florida but i've decided to pre-record you guys a studio vlog because i don't want you to go without one and i'm gonna kind of record just like the back end of this week it is now tuesday so i ended my last studio vlog yesterday and we got to work on designing new backing cards for the new pudding and um marshmallow and owl pins that arrived and i cannot believe it they already the backing cards have already arrived and i only literally sent off for them yesterday i designed them yesterday on the studio vlog you can watch last week's to see how i designed those and yeah i ordered them yesterday and they've arrived already i cannot believe it i'm so excited so i decided we might as well do a little unboxing make sure everything is okay and ready to go and yeah it'll kind of be fun to see how they look against the proofs that i made yesterday on like this thin card stock um, and see if the colors are similar to my print there. But yeah, it's a pretty busy week this week. It's actually bonfire night. It's the 5th of November here in the UK. We celebrate bonfire night. Let me know if your country celebrates this. I think it might be just an England thing. I'm not I'm not quite sure. A UK thing. It's basically um, like kind of like a memorial to commemorate the Guy Fawkes' attempt at blowing up Parliament. So every year on November the 5th, um, everyone does big bonfires and fireworks and stuff. Um, so yeah, let me know if your country celebrates anything like this. I'm pretty sure it's just the UK, but I'm not quite sure. But yeah, let me know where you're from in the comments below. That'd be really interesting. Hopefully, fingers crossed, if I get everything done today, I'm going to see some bonfire, uh, some fireworks and stuff at Skinning Grove. And they do this like big burning bonfire where they create like a wooden kind of sculpture and then they set it on fire and stuff um so we're gonna go and see that i'm excited i hope i make it in time because i've got so much to do this week we've got to photograph all the new products like the new christmas stickers and we've got to photograph the new enamel pins the new nail decals and we have to list them and get them launched on friday and friday is my last day and it's now tuesday so yeah a lot to do also today I will be designing some t-shirts to take away to Florida. I just ordered these really cheap Fruit of the Loom t-shirts off eBay and I've decided to make me and my family like some t-shirts for Florida but I'm gonna use that as a Patreon exclusive video. So I also need to design some t-shirts and print them today and film a video for my Patreon so that they get an exclusive video and you guys can watch that. The link will be in the description. I think that's scheduled to go up while I'm away. So let's just get straight into it and get straight into the unboxing of the backing cards for the enamel pins and see how they turned out. I cannot believe how fast they were produced and if anyone wants to know where I get my backing cards from I've said this quite a few times but it, it, it's instantprint.co.uk and um, I just order business cards on the premium I think it's the premium silk uh, so yeah let's have a look at them shall we so these were the original ones that I designed yesterday I just print them out to make sure that my enamel pin looks good and the colours look nice and stuff with my enamel pin and I always do a proof of these before I send them off uh, because I have ordered enamel pins before and I've really not liked how they've turned out so I've just done a proof of them yesterday I can't believe how quick these have gone I've said this a thousand times but what the hell the internet is crazy so here is the new backing cards. Let's have open these up and have a look at them. And I actually ordered 200 of each because that's how many in albums I've got. Um, and they had an offer on. It was five pound for 100 or 13 pound for 250. And I didn't want to have any waste. So I purchased the five pound ones and I just purchased two of them. So I would purchase two of each design. Uh, so it made it £10 per enamel pin design. So uh, yeah, so this one is the pudding one. They normally leave like a little like sign on the front like this so you can tell. And then this one is the marshmallow one. So let's crack this open and have a look. Ooh, the colours actually look way better than pudding that I've done. So this is the pudding one and it says a little figgy pudding. 
and then this was the proof I did and as you can see the colours are different the proof that I did uh, was more purpley but this actually looks more um, like the screen version like the one I did on my screen but it depends on what paper and stuff you print this out on so as you can see there is a colour difference but I'm completely fine with it because this is actually more of an accurate colour to what I was designing on the screen um, so that's perfect I really like how I designed like a reef on the top yes yeah, so this goes way better because I use colours in my designs for this and yeah it just looks really cute what do you think my nails broke please excuse her but yeah turned out cute and I like this little reef along the top here it just um yeah adds something to it I feel like so looks fantastic am I right Yay! So again, these are much more accurate to the colours that I was designing on screen. Uh, Instant Print always send you like these business card holders, but me and Emily actually use them for packages. So if people order um, enamel pins and an art print, sometimes we'll place the enamel pin in here um, and they get one of these for free. So we tend to use these up. Um, yeah, we just thought it was a good good use of them it's either 350 gsm or it's 400 gsm i can't remember but it's a lovely thickness it's nice it's nice quality it's not super super thick because you can purchase like a higher quality one which is super thick um but it does for me and this is the little marshmallow cup which will be going live this friday so looks really cute on the backing cast very happy with them. I'm really happy with the pudding actually because I actually think the colours work a lot better on the one that I designed on the screen. So super happy. The same with this one as well. The colours work so much better. So very happy with how they've turned out. I will just need to photograph these later on today. But for now, I'm going to switch out this SD card because this SD card is for my studio vlogs and I've got another SD card for like personal and Patreon videos. So I'm going to switch out this SD card and use this camera to record some new, well, to design some new t-shirts and record kind of the process behind that. And I will show you guys the end results. Uh, but if you want to see how I make them and how I press them, because I'm going to use this trusty old heat press here, then you can check that out on my Patreon. So yeah i'll see you guys in a little bit wish me luck okay bye <laughs> Okay, I'm back. I haven't quite finished filming the Patreon video because I have to wait for some transfer paper that is hopefully arriving by half three. So while I'm waiting for that, I finish the design and everything, I'm going to try and cut out the last of the decals, which is the ginger and size Christmas ones, because I've been having huge issues with the Cricut cutting these. And I have a feeling it's something to do with these little black smudges up in the top corner here. Uh, it's having a real trouble scanning them and reading them. I've tried everything from putting like the lights off and like covering any reflections and stuff if that makes sense so that the sensor can read it but it's still having some issues so I'm going to try it again and see if the cut and then I've got to take lots of product photos today I have a lot on my to-do list and I'm finishing at five to go see the fireworks so it looks like I'm going to have to do some work from home later on tonight so yeah let's get the crickets on and see if these are going to cut or if they're not going to cut okay let's give this a go I hope this works this time. I feel like I need to stick that corner down because I feel like this is gonna. Oh no. This little corner here is sticking up, so I'm just gonna stick that down because I don't want it to catch on the cricket mat. Let's see if this works. Please work, cricket. There it goes. I'm gonna put this down so that the light can shine better on it. Let's see. It looks 
in so far. Yeah, we hope it works. Hey, it's working! Thank goodness for that. Uh, but the other ones, I don't know if they're going to work. So I have these like, because there's like these little smears here and I don't know if that'll make a difference or not. So I've got some white stickers here and I'm thinking of actually like sticking a little bit of white here and seeing if that helps. So because these have already been varnished and three coats have been on these and yeah they take a long time and I want to get these done today really but otherwise they probably won't launch before I go away and I really want them to launch because these are the cutest ones also how sad is my plan I think I'm gonna have to throw this out I think this is actually not an evergreen so it doesn't grow all year round it's an outdoor plant and I think it's actually dying for the autumn hello darkness my old friend so this she isn't cutting so what i've done is cut a little bit of sticker out and kind of covered the blob a bit so let's see if that fixes it oh my goodness it worked so it must have been that little black smudge at the top that was causing the issue so yay Okay, so it is actually dark outside now and I have been doing t-shirts with my patrons pretty much all day. Um, I did bits and bobs, like I finished the nail decals. I just need to sort them out into first and seconds uh, and there's a few extra bits that I need to finish off tomorrow. Uh, the t-shirts turned out really cute. So this is Dean's. This was the front of the t-shirt and then I did these little sleeve bits which say Dean on them and then last minute I've created this to go on the back of the t-shirt here. So if you want to see how I made them, um, yeah, it'll be on my Patreon very soon. Uh, but now I'm going to go try out this huge bonfire at Skinning Grove. I've never been before, but apparently this year it's Greatest Showman theme. Oh, that's my heat press. Two seconds. But yeah, this year it's Greatest Showman theme. So I thought I might as well take you guys with me. I've got my little Canon G7X here already charged. At least I hope it's charged. Yeah, it's fully charged, so I'm going to switch out the camera and put you guys in here and we can go check out some cool firework displays. Let's go, shall we? So this is the situation. The park and ride for the bonfire starts all the way around there, comes all the way around here. Then to me, it's like Disney World all over again. It's just practice. The only difference is, is that the buses here won't probably allow you to like stand up in the bus. Like in Disney World, you're allowed to stand up and they cram you all in. Whereas I don't think they'll let you do that here, so. So we were stood over there and now we're over here, but there's still this huge queue of people and the fireworks start in 50 minutes. So do you reckon we're gonna make it? Yes or no? Let me know in the comments. So we made it to the top of the bus stop, so we're here and we queued and we were all the way back there at start, but it is now 7 o'clock and the fireworks start literally now, so I don't think we're going to make it. The bonfire doesn't start till half 7, but even if we get on this one, there's congestion all the way, so looks like we're going to go to that pub over there and get tea instead. What do you think, Dean? Okay, let's give off right at the very last hurdle. <laughs> How annoying. How long have we been stood for? Like an hour? How annoying. Are you coming then? Are you breaking from the line or not? <laughs> oh, you don't want to break from the line, do you? <laughs> you don't want to get out the line because we've been waiting so long. What do you think? <laughs> what are we going to do? Jock off. I'll let you decide. Do we break from the line? Look, so, one's on the curb, one's in the line. I think we'll still miss it. I don't know. I actually don't know. We broke the line, Dean. It took us ages to get off the curb because we've been waiting in the line for so long and then we finally got off. And we broke it, Dean. 
Oh, what a shame. We didn't see any fireworks, but we're going to Disney World in like four days, so we'll see plenty of fireworks then. But I really wanted to see the big burning wood thing that they have going on. Instead, we're gonna go try this pub out over here and get some lunch and freeze in a year. So we're coming to this pub called the Long Acre. Hopefully we can get a seat and we can get some food and we can get all warmed up. Oh, I'm freezing. Mini adventure, am I right, Dean? <laughs> oh, I feel the warmth. Oh my gosh, it feels so warm. It's really cool in here. We've got this little corner booth. So, oh, no longer cold, Dean. Oh, your nose is all red. Let's sit down. It's really cool in here. I really like the decor. It was tanking down with rain at one point, but luckily I've got an umbrella in my bag. I think I would be a little bit more gutted if I wasn't going to Disney, but I don't care. Now I'm going to get warm and get tea. I'm sorry I couldn't show you guys the big fireworks. I haven't even seen it. Dean said he's been to a big bonfire before, haven't you Dean? But I've never been to a big bonfire like that. I've seen a big fire, but they have like a big wooden sculpture thing there. So I'm sorry I couldn't take you guys, but instead I'm going to get some food. Okay, bye. We got hot chocolates to warm us up. Cheers, Dean. Happy failure of bonfire night, but I'm happy anyway because we're going to Disney World soon, am I right? I've just finally got round to doing it and I've used the beautiful Coconut Tasha's um, Animal Kingdom and Disney World stickers that she sells in a store. I've actually been watching her studio vlogs lately and she kindly gifted me these. She sent me them when my PO box was open. So I've just went completely, oh, my camera just slipped. I just went completely mad and stuck so many on the time I was in Florida so I've put like little blue marks so that Matthew, um, Mike and Emily know when I'm away and when I'm back uh, but yeah and then all of the purple is all the Patreon content that will be going up while I'm away how exciting is that so yeah getting super super excited now uh, happy Wednesday it's Wednesday because Mike's in and Today, um, I am going to be taking lots of photos. Uh, what you've seen when I got in was me just um, organising the new nail decals in the first and second. Mike kindly packaged up a bunch before I came in, the candy cane ones, he finished them off from what I was doing yesterday. So I organised all them in the storage, I just need to count them. But now I need to go through to the other room and I need to photograph them all. So, yeah. I better get a move on and I need to edit them and yeah there's a lot of new products to photograph and edit and everything so instead of chatting I better get it to work let's go what did you do for vampire night last night uh I stayed at home <laughs> <laughs> I didn't need doing it it was nearly as bad as ours we actually it's better than standing in the pouring rain and not getting on the bus
yeah so I finished taking all the photos and everything and I didn't do the sticker ones I'm just going to use like a digital file for that the reason I had to take photos of the stickers before was because I lost all the data and stuff on my computer it like wiped everything if you um have been on my channel for a while you will have seen that happen uh, so I had to take photos of loads of my stickers but this time I've got the digital file so I think I'll just make like a digital file listing that way you get to see the colours and the illustration more accurately I find it really tricky to get the sticker colours for some reason and the white balance right so you can see the actual sticker colour whereas when I use it did when I do a digital one you can kind of see the colours more accurately if that makes sense anyway I think I'm going to end end I think I'm going to end the studio vlog here guys because all I have to do today is I have to edit all those photos, I have to save them as drafts ready to go live on Friday and then I have around two videos to edit, the studio vlog to edit, my Patreon video to edit, I also have a time lapse speed paint for my Patreon, some wallpapers for my patrons. There's, there's a lot to do. So I'm going to end the studio vlog here guys, I really hope you enjoyed it, it is a little later, I have scheduled this for Thursday so that um there's not a huge gap between my videos for you uh but yeah there will be florida vlogs by the way but it will be on a personal channel which i am going to create hopefully before i go away to florida and do a pack with me video if everything goes according to plan <laughs> i've got a lot on my plate uh, i've got two full days left in the studio um, and that will be dedicated to editing and getting ready for the product launch before I go away. So yeah, thank you so, so much for watching. I will see you all very soon. I will be taking you guys on my trip with me. But like I say, I will put a playlist on catnip so you can find it through catnip, but it will actually be uploaded now on my personal channel. So I don't bombard you guys with personal vlogs and travel vlogs when you're not really interested, if you're only here for the studio vlogs and the art content. So I'll see you very soon. I love you so so freaking much. All right then, I love you. Goodbye. <laughs>